Okay, this is project number five, the first tutorial for the pop art project. And what we'll be doing in this um, activity is really taking a photograph and turning it into a black and white coloring book style picture, or it could look posterized. I'm going to give you two different ways to um, start off the project. So first we're going to open up the photograph that you took of a common machine and I'm using a car, a photo that I took in Florida one year. So we have a color photo and we want to turn this photo black and white. So here's how we do that in Photoshop. We look at our layers area and you should see this area on top of the layers, we want to go to adjustments because we're going to adjust the photo to turn it black and white. So if you hover over these different adjustment layers, you will find your black and white adjustment layer right here and just click on it and that will turn your photo black and white. But now what we want to do is you see it's very gray everywhere. We want to really enhance the contrast. So bring in more darks and blacks and more whites. So what we're going to do then, you'll see that came in as a black and white adjustment layer that just shows that you did something to your photo. Now we're going to do something else to it. So we're going to go to our levels. That's this little graph looking adjustment layer and click on that. And we'll work with this graph in the middle here. And if you pull in from this side, you're going to pull in the blacks and you can see how black it's getting. We don't want it that black. Just a little bit to enhance our blacks and pull in from the white side to really pop out our whites because that will make it easy to make a pop art photo. So we're pulling in the blacks, pulling in the whites into our picture and it's really good thing to learn how to use the levels adjustment. And now you have your black and white adjustment and your levels adjustment to adjust your contrast. Now, there are two different ways that you can go in terms of getting this ready to colorize your pop art project. You can use another adjustment layer or we can use a filter. So first I'm just going to try the adjustment layer and that is going to be threshold. So if you hover over here and click on it, you'll see that it creates this poster looking style that you might like. And you can play around with the slider to get it to a place that works for you. For this photo, it doesn't work that great for me because there's a lot of white areas. Um, but it might really work nicely for yours to get it poster looking. Um, if you don't care for that, you can just trash that layer, delete it, and you could try posterize. That's right next to the threshold um, adjustment, and you could try to make it look posterize. Again, it could be tricky depending on your photo. You could make it look like that. Um, for me, I prefer another way. So I'm going to delete that layer. What I'm going to do is click on my original photo because whenever you're going to add a filter, you have to add the filter to an actual picture. These layers here are not pictures. They're just something you did to the layer beneath it. So now I'm on the background layer. I can go all the way up to filter and go to my filter gallery that gives me a lot of different options for my picture. And I am going to go in the stylized folder and click glowing edges. And you can see the edges of your picture are glowing. And basically you want your edge brightness up pretty high. So, you know, around 15, 16, 17, 18, you can play around with it. I'm gonna put it at 17 and then hit okay. And you'll see I have this look to my picture. I have a lot of lines in white. And now I want to change the picture so that the lines are black. 
and the black areas are lighter. So all I'm going to do is go back to my adjustment layer and go to invert. So that will invert my picture so that I have black lines with white areas. So it looks like a coloring book. And then I can use this to color in a lot of different areas for my pop art. It's supposed to look like a photo made um, from a silk screen uh, process. So I'm going to talk to you about that in class. But that's it for tutorial number one. And we're going to always file and save or save as our work as a Photoshop file.